A veces hablo por derecho. A veces al revés. Sometimes I speak backwards. Sometimes through the right to speak. My name is Martina Ayala, and I am the curator for Mujeres con Falda de Serpientes y Talones de Águila. This show was conceived to honor women in all their stages, and it was inspired by Cuautlicue, our Aztec goddess, mother of life and death, of the moon, the sun. The second focus is social causes that are very close to my heart. First is femicide, femicide around the world, but in particular, femicide in Ciudad Juarez, Mexico. The problem in, in Ciudad Juarez has been growing. In the year 2000, we had more and more women missing as they were going to work in the factories, the American-owned factories on the border. Many women would leave their homes uh, on buses provided by the factories, and they would never make it to work, or they would go missing. We would find um, bodies of women, we would find their clothing, some of the women were mutilated, others were raped, and others just simply disappeared. Call out to the ancestors. Acknowledge the duende that rests upon lips, that lives in hands and hips, that burns the throat from the thirst. The artists of the show are all women who um, have experienced different challenging situations in their life and have overcome them. It celebrates strength. Make love to memory, kiss with drunken honesty, hold close like rosary beads from rose petals. We want femicide in this, in this particular city of Mexico to, um, to stop. The wonder of presence, of faith, of candor, of valor, how do you approach? Remember the water that feeds you. Each year they become younger and younger. Some women are as young as age three, four, or, you know, so the, 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 the numbers are growing and it's a problem that needs to stop and that we need to bring attention to. This show does that through art. Another focus of the show is Natalia Lisette Lopez. She is an 11-year-old young woman who was the winner of a national speech debate in, in Mexico. Pertenezco a una de esas culturas que son minoría en la sociedad. Pertenezco a las marías que señalan en las calles por vestir diferente o hablar una lengua antigua, el náhuatl. Soy 100% orgullosamente de origen indígena. Her message was very touching. It talked about multiculturalism and the discrimination and racism that is experienced by indigenous people in Mexico. Respetemos nuestra sociedad. Hagamos una sola cultura, la cultura de la paz. Sasukamati y Cayunatechcate. Gracias por haberme escuchado. Any uh, proceeds that come from this show, any uh, profits, are being donated to the, the families of the Mujeres of Juarez and the Natalia Lisette Lopez Scholarship Fund. We consider her a, uh, a woman who wears serpent skirts and eagle talons, and we want to support her dream to uh, defend indigenous rights and to an education.